welcome to bsc statistics students uh, in this lesson i explain the two important uh, uh, properties weak law of large numbers uh, and strong law of large numbers right so, so first of all what is weak law of large numbers you see it is very simple uh, if you learned the uh, two particular uh, uh, important properties convergence in probability convergence in distribution right right um, so you see here uh, if you come into the uh, law of weak law of large numbers let x1 x2 xn be a sequence of random variables uh, and mu1 mu2 mu1 and so on mu1 their respective means or expectations mean values then and also you have to consider bn is equal to variance of x1 plus x2 plus xn so uh, the property uh, depends on uh, some of the n independent uh, random variables x1 plus x2 plus xn. The property depends on their mean, mean of x1, x2, xn, that is x1 plus x2 plus xn divided by n. So, if you consider uh, the means of x1, x2, xn are mu1, mu2, mu1, and uh, bn is equal to variance of x1 plus x2 plus xn, which is less than infinity, which means it exists a value. Then probability of modulus of x1 plus x2 plus n so on plus xn divided by n that is uh, mean value of x1 x2 xn x bar n we can consider we can consider some particular x bar n minus mu1 plus mu2 plus n so on plus mu1 divided by n that is uh, average of all mu's population means and then this is modulus uh, modulus of x bar n minus modulus of some uh, mu1 plus mu2 plus mu1 divided by n that is average of uh, population means is less than epsilon is less than epsilon that is uh, it is greater than or equal to 1 minus eta where eta is a small positive quantity epsilon is a small positive quantity epsilon is greater than 0 eta is greater than 0 and for all n greater than n naught and one such value it is going to be existed epsilon and eta are arbitrarily small positive numbers that's what i have discussed the small positive quantities that is uh, and uh, which is provided by limit n tends to infinity bn by n square is tending to zero this is uh, weak law of large numbers that is uh, what is meant by this probability i explain probability of uh, mean value of x minus uh, mean value of mu uh, the value, the, the difference or the deviation or difference, the difference between average of x and average of mu, it is less than epsilon, which means epsilon is a positive, small positive quantity. So, the difference is very, very small because less than epsilon, epsilon kante takkuva. So, therefore, difference is very, very small, difference is very, very small. The probability becomes uh, greater than 1 minus eta, probability tending to 1. Why? Eta is small positive quantity. So, 1 minus eta is tending to 1 almost. So, therefore, it is greater than or equal to, this probability is greater than or equal to 1. Which means, uh, the difference between average of x and average of mu is very, very small. Uh, that is called weak law of large numbers. Pro that probability becomes tending to 1. That probability tending to 1. The, dif the difference between these two is very, very small. The probability of happening, the difference between these two is very, very small is almost tending to 1. Almost certain. So, that is, uh, that is what uh, um, weak law of large numbers. Hope you understand. For IID random variables, the weak law of large numbers for IID random variables, if you consider, then so it is obviously just just I simply say probability of x bar n minus uh, modulus of x bar n minus mu is greater than or equal to epsilon, which is tending to zero, or less than epsilon, which is tending to one. Probability of modulus of x bar n minus mu less than epsilon tending to one, as n tends to infinity, as n tends to infinity. Uh, this is tending to 1. This is nothing but x bar n is convergence in probability to mu. Okay, I will tell you. Uh, for IED random variables, that is independently and identically distributed random variables, uh, if x1, x2, xn are independently and identically distributed 
random variables that is expectation of xi is equal to mu, variance of xi is equal to sigma square. That is uh, mean for all the variables are equal, variance for all the variables are also equal and they are independent, they are equal, identical. And Bn is equal to variance of x1 plus x2 plus xn is equal to n into sigma square. It is nothing but now it is uh, n into sigma square. Okay. And uh, limit n tends to infinity Bn by n square, which is nothing but n sigma square by n square. So, one particular n will get cancelled sigma square by n. As n tends to infinity, this is tends to 0. That is limit n tends to infinity Bn by n square tends to 0. Okay. Uh, by using the weak law of large numbers uh, as uh, in the previous one we have specified probability of modulus of x1 plus x2 plus xn divided by n minus uh, all mu are same that is mu mu1 plus mu2 plus mu1 divided by n it is nothing but mu plus mu plus mu and so on plus mu that is n mu divided by n the n will get cancelled and mu so therefore uh, now this is greater than 1 minus eta and uh, now it becomes probability of modulus of x bar n minus mu less than epsilon tending to 1 as n tends to infinity. Okay, therefore, uh, which from this we can specify that this is nothing but x bar n convergence in probability to mu. x bar n is convergence in probability to mu. When whenever modulus of that is whenever uh, the difference between x bar n and mu which uh, is very very small the probability is tending to 1 then uh, x bar n is convergence in probability to mu this is also we can refer the uh, definition of consistency All right so x bar n convergence in probability to mu this this is going to be specified as so these are the two particular points i have specified weak law of large numbers and weak law of large numbers for iid random variables now i specify now i explain strong law of large numbers if we consider strong law of large numbers, this is nothing but the strong law of large numbers state that the sample mean, the average convergence almost surely to the population mean. It is convergence almost surely to the population mean. Population mean is mu. So, for this, uh, I am considering x1, x2, xn be independently and identically distributed IID mm, random variables that is expectation of xi is equal to mu variance of x is equal to sigma square. Then the sample mean x bar n that is x1 plus x2 plus xn divided by n that is x bar n convergence to the population mean mu with the probability 1 that is unity with the probability 1. This is strong law of large numbers. So, if you refer the weak law of large numbers and strong law of large numbers both are for indicating the distribution of x bar n the sample mean with the comparison of the population mean mu with the comparison of population mean mu all right hope you understand this is what uh, uh, the weak law of large numbers and strong law of large numbers thank you thank you so much